Hello everyone and welcome finally to Wolf Quest Season 4 and oh my goodness this has probably been the most anticipated channel on my or series on my channel for the past several months now ever since Season 3 ended uh, but we are finally finally back and I am so excited to dive in again to this game so let's go ahead without further ado and get started and I'll explain a little bit of how things are going to work because there are going to be some changes to how this series uh, works now for the um for how it's going to work now with and probably in future updates as well so we'll go ahead and hit begin quest and we can meet our first wolf so we're going to play on challenging i believe yes no difficulty modifiers so we are going to play on challenging the typical order of play if you're new to the series is we play first year on challenging we play the next year on pretty easy then we play on arduous then we play on bring it on and as you guys have probably seen our first wolf is knight so knight is the wolf you guys selected as the heir to nova and equinox he looks a lot like his father he's also very very strong he actually if we go and look at the pack stats he actually has 50 strength which is even more than nova had he has 30 stamina and he or 70 stamina and 30 speed so he's not all that fast he does lack his father's characteristic speed but he has a lot of stamina and so it might be a little bit challenging to play with a wolf who's not all that fast so oh there is there is food there but yeah you can see he definitely runs a lot slower and that could be a little bit interesting so with that said uh, his challenge is actually that he must always play at night because his dark coat lets him blend in. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and change it to night, and we will be playing as night with him for the entirety of the season. So we're going to switch it to night. And the second part of his challenge is that he has to choose a mate with dark coloration as well so that they can blend in and it'll be harder for puppies or for the predators to spot their puppies. And uh, his ability is that if he successfully raids the cattle ranch, he gains a chance to rescue a puppy that would have otherwise died. We're going to go chase this elk as well and try and take it out. Um, and he may only have one active chance at a time, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to read and... Um, and play. He can have as many as he needs to, but he can, only one can be active at a time, so he'll have to go back to the cattle ranch if he would have lost a puppy in order to save another one. And the chance expires at the end of the episode. So he can have a chance for the entire episode with no restrictions, but only one at a time. It is an unlimited ability, though, as long as he's able to go to the cattle ranch. So that could be quite helpful, especially if we end up settling at some of the dens near the cattle ranch. And let's see. So I think that's actually all of his uh, challenge and ability. So right now we are on the quest for a mate. And basically that just means we have to go to the different wolf territories and try to find a mate. So we're probably going to avoid the druid territory for a very simple reason. Knight himself has druid heritage. So it wouldn't really make sense to take a mate from that pack because he has that heritage it would be likely that any wolves that are down there are related to him uh through his mother's side of the family so he's just gonna avoid that area entirely and probably check the other places now every once in a while we do see dispersal wolves that hang around the territories that don't seem to be from that pack or possibly aren't oh it's running already okay um but even so oh boy that was almost close <laughs> all right went this way uh, but even so, I think it makes more sense to stay away from that, too, because also the Druid pack has a bit of a hatred for this pack. They've had quite a lot of conflicts since the very beginning of the season, or the very beginning of season one, actually. And um, speaking of the Druid pack, they've had some changes that have gone on, and that is that the original leaders have actually died, because it's been so long. Those leaders were around when Katari and Terrell were here. They were quite old by the time last season was... Uh, rolled around and so I think it's pretty safe to say that the pack is now being led by some of the younger members and that actually is part of what happened to the druid pack in real life uh, the original older wolves that were very strong and very experienced and very very the, the druid pack was a very powerful pack in Yellowstone at one point uh, but the older members died off and it was left with the younger and more inexperienced members and that meant that it was a lot harder um, 
it was a lot harder for the pack to survive and it ultimately fractured. And that's sort of what we're seeing reflected here is that last time the Galaxy pack successfully ran off the Druid pack and basically broke their power in the area. So the Druid pack is a lot weaker now. And which way is the Elk Herd? I think it's back this way. But yeah, the Druid pack is substantially weaker now. We have some bonuses that the Galaxy pack got, which is, I believe, one chance to rescue one free rescue that doesn't um if it was a wolf from the druid pack and it takes a puppy you get one free rescue and after that further attacks have a 50 percent chance of failing i believe i'll have to double check on that and another thing so ever since the galaxy pack um split up or the galaxy pack has since split up ever since because they, it, the Galaxy Packer consisted of Nova and Andromeda, brother and sister, and then their mates. I can't find this elk herd now. That's one downside of hunting at night, or of playing at night, is it is a little bit difficult to see, although we don't have ravens at least. We'll maybe head up the mountain and check out the Stranger Wolf territory if we can. Oh, here's the elk herd. Let's, let's hunt some more first, because then we'll have a chance of being able to go straight into finding a mate. Um, but the pack at that point was all together. The pack now is has actually split up. So Nova's descendants went one way and Andromeda's went another. And so Knight is going to have his own pack and it, uh, his, um, his cousin, the other heir, who you will meet uh, in a little bit, is going to have their own pack as well. I say there because although some of you may, have, may know, I'm not gonna reveal the gender of the heir just yet. Not like you guys couldn't check the polls if you really wanted to, but there's some suspense to be had, you know. Um, so let's eat this elk as well. Uh, but the way that is actually going to work is we will be switching off between the packs. So we will be playing with a knight's pack all of this week, and we will be playing with the other heir's pack all of next week, and it'll switch off on a week-by-week -week basis. That means we will have a total of three episodes per wolf per week. Uh, we will be airing episodes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so keep your eyes out on those days for when we'll be having new episodes. And, oh boy, um, which elk? It's this one, okay. Uh, with that said, um, I had a point. I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> um, oh, goodness. It's been so long since I've been back in the series, and I, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, with that said, now that the original air po poll is over, uh, I may have kept a few secrets, I may not have told you everything, and we just might see this week, after this episode, another poll having to do with the descendants of Nova and Andromeda. So keep your eyes out for that. We, I may have something special in plan, may or may not. You guys will have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, not giving any details away until then, though. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and finish hunting these guys, try to get enough experience. We'll probably, we usually spend about three episodes in Amethyst Mountain with each wolf. So how, where are we? 600. Yeah, because we try to get to 200 by the time that we are in Slaw Creek, because that'll help us name the puppies. Uh, but with that said, so um, maybe we won't spend all three episodes here. Maybe we'll spend some of them hunting, because instead of doing the hunting montage, because that can be a, a little bit of an interesting chance to get to know the wolf and its mate. And I did not actually have him eat, did I? Let's have him eat. Uh, but with that said, so what I was going to say is, so we're going to need new names for each of the packs. So Knight's pack is going to need a name. Our other heir's pack is going to need a name. And uh, you guys can suggest those names in the comments, and then by Wednesday, I will probably have chosen a name. I'll try to have one picked out if I've seen one uh, that I feel fits. I'll try to go through the comments and potentially choose a name for the pack. <laughs> so if you guys have ideas for what the pack's name could be, then please let me know. Keep in mind we are playing as Knight. I don't know what his mate's name is going to be yet, but we do know she is going to be dark in coloration because that is part of his challenge. And uh, you keep those factors in mind when you're naming the pack. So we've had the um, the Origin pack, the Legacy pack, and the Galaxy pack. Uh, Origin pack was Katari and Terrell. The Legacy pack was Kaya and Courage. And the Galaxy pack was Nova, Equinox, Andromeda, and Orion. And, um... So, and then a couple of you guys actually asked some interesting questions uh, when we were running the air poll, is that, um, is Zona still alive at this point in the story, Zona and Navi? And that was something I did want to address. So the Wolf Quest timeline has gotten a little bit complicated because a lot of the time with the, the side stories, we jump back in time. 
And um, so at this point, I believe uh, Zona would be an older wolf for sure, but there is a possibility she's still alive. Most wolves will live for, I think, five to eight years in the wild and can live as many as, or some, some have been recorded as old, uh, as old as 13 in the wild, and they can live up to 17 years in captivity. So there's a possibility that Zona is still alive. She'd be pretty old at this point because she was older than Nova and Andromeda, so she was at least four by the time they started having puppies. And Navi too. Navi and Zona, I believe, are from the same year. Um, so by the time that this litter would have been born, she would have been six or seven, I think seven, because yeah, she would have been four when they, <laughs> all the math gets complicated. She would, would have been four when uh, Nova and Equinox met, five when they had their first litter, and seven by the time they had litter number three. So she would be at least nine years old at this point. So she may or may not still be around. She's within the p potential range. She's within the, the range that, um, that wolves can live in the wild but she's also past the typical range, so she could be around, but she'd be pretty old if she is. Uh, so that was something I wanted to bring up. We do jump around in uh, the timeline quite a bit, depending on when the, um, when the, the, or what litters the heirs are chosen from. So I would suggest that you take a look at the timeline, which I'll try to get out near, in the near future, and I will post the link to that in the video description, because I am putting together a timeline to help you guys kind of keep it straight, because it is pretty complicated, and uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of a different sort of thing than uh, a lot of series. It, it can get a little complex with all the side stories and stuff, and it's interesting to see how they all line up together. So we ha should have... I'm going to venture probably 600... 800, wow, okay, because of the bear. Uh, so we have enough now to go find a mate, so we're actually going to head off up the mountain to see if we can find a mate up there. So 800 is um, past the threshold. I believe the threshold is 750 um, in order to find a mate, and so we are definitely past that threshold now, and we're going to go ahead and see. It could take Knight a little bit to find a mate, though, because um, <clears throat> he has to make sure he finds a dark-colored wolf, and, uh, we saw with, a uh, with Nova being picky that, um, that, that was a little bit of an issue, uh, finding, um, we didn't see very many dark-colored wolves. We kept running into druid wolves. Um, ironically, Nova actually avoided a druid wolf at one point, but then later found out that his mate Equinox was of druid ancestry, but she did leave her pack. So it's kind of interesting how that all plays out together. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we do have to look for a, a wolf of certain coloration. There's a fair number of dark colored coats in the game, so I'm not overly concerned, but we will see. And um, one thing to note is the possibility of a lot of you guys have been saying you want to see us uh, take a mate with mange at some point, because that is a possibility. Okay, let's look. So we gotta go this way to be able to get the scent trail. Um, it is really dark in scent view. I'm hitting all the trees. <laughs> I'm also getting a little reflection on my monitor screen right now, which is slightly annoying in the dark here. Um, I think... We're not- oh, we're towards the middle of the territory. We entered it kind of at a weird side angle, so we gotta go down a bit. That's probably why we're not finding any uh, scent trails. Oh, and the garbage truck. <laughs> um, yeah, my garbage day is Monday. <laughs> That's always fun. Alright, here we go. Um, but I do happen to know that one of the potential dark colored coats is one with mange. So if we do see- okay, we have... A dispersal female, but she is very light in coloration, so we can't. Do we get experience for chasing off a dispersal? No. <laughs> I don't think we do. Do we? We go to pack stats? We don't. <laughs> um, we definitely do not. So we'll keep looking. Yes, we do have to continue looking for mate. Um, but I do know one of the dark coats is the one with mange, and so that could be a little interesting, a little bit of an interesting thing too. If we do end up having a wolf with mange, you'll have to, um, we'll have to discuss how that could potentially play into, like, is there a chance the puppy is getting mange? Could it spread? How exactly will that work out? Could Knight get mange? Um, we'll have to discuss that if it does happen, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it is a possibility, so be aware of that if we don't find a mate this episode. 
uh, just because it could be kind of an interesting thing if it does come into play. So be thinking about ideas in regards to that if it happens. So here we go. I'm getting close again. I don't know how tough the wolves in the mountain are. I don't think they're super tough. Oh, this is a dispersal female, and she is very, very dark in coloration. She actually looks... Does she look a lot like Equinox? She looks kind of like Equinox, but I think she's darker even. And I don't think she has mane. She looks okay to me. Um, I think she's got a little bit of, of that... Possibly, she's, it's hard to tell in the dark, but she may have a little bit of that dark, darker brown color. I think we're going to go ahead, possibly. Yeah, I don't think she has mange, but she does have a little brown mixed in her coat, but she is quite dark in coloration. I think Knight would, uh, Knight would be happy about that because he wants to be able to blend into the shadows with his mate. So let's see. There we go. Hello there. And then I like you. <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of cute to watch uh, the wolves interacting. She is quite a large wolf too. She seems very big and strong, um, and this means now we, we need another name. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think he he's going to try and take her as his mate. Let's see. Aw. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Um. Uh. Let's start a pack. Let's see. We've had several wolves with very dark colored mates lately, haven't we? Because <laughs> um, both Kaya and Nova had a very dark colored mate, and now Knight. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So let's see. What should we name her? That's always the question. Well, if his name is Knight, then perhaps. Hmm. Okay, so I have done a little digging, done some research, and I think we are actually going to go ahead and call her Artemis. So Artemis is the um, the Greek goddess, I believe. Greek or Roman? Gosh, now I can't even remember it. <laughs> I believe Greek. I want to say Greek. Um, but the Greek goddess of the moon and the hunt. So let's turn on the name so we can actually see where she is. And there we go. So I figured that'd be fitting because she, these guys are going to constantly be playing under the light of the moon. And she seems like a very strong huntress. So let's get these guys off to Slough Creek. And she's faster than him. <laughs> uh, usually the mates are, though. Uh, so we'll get these guys off to Slough Creek and see if we can um, have them have or start getting ready to have them have puppies, but we're going to have to hunt first. So we'll spend a couple episodes. Basically, I'll allow three episodes per wolf because that's how many we have in the week for them to get set up. And then anything beyond that, I will just go ahead and montage or do off camera. So they have three episodes to find a mate and then get done with the hunting, <laughs> basically. And um, we'll head off to Slough Creek with these guys and see. So we should be at a thousand experience now because of that bear, we were at 800 and bears are 200. And I think we're probably going to have these guys go to one of these southern dens, um, either Bison Peak. Well, Bison Peak for this time, and um, eventually, possibly, the Creek Den. So why those two dens? Well, we want Knight to be within range of the cattle ranch, because that's how his ability comes into play. And we want him to probably be in the south. We want to take advantage of the fact that the druid pack has been greatly weakened because we have extra chances to save puppies from stranger wolves. So it's a pretty it's a pretty um it's a pretty logical option in that respect. So let's head this way and get them off to Slump Creek and then we'll probably wrap up the episode when they get there. And uh, you guys will have to let me know how much of the hunting you do and don't want to see. We'll be seeing it for the first um, the first litters here, because like I said, we have three episodes to get them ready for the first litter. There's a fox. Um, and I like that his stamina doesn't drain. That is pretty nice. But uh, after that, we normally do a montage because it got old seeing so much of the hunting. <laughs> um, so you have to let me know how much of that you do and don't want to see. So we will head this way. 
and get everybody ready. So we'll go ahead and I think stop here for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.